Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens there when, we we are. when we don't decide who's talking first. We just decided we were going to see what happens, and this is what happens. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay. So, we're here to do a video. We're here to do another album review. Now, should we call this technically an album review or an, an EP, EP review? review? Six songs. <laughs> that's a half an album. You know what? I'm going to call it an album review. Would you do an album that's six songs? Would you? Could you print it, paste it on one side of the vinyl and just have nothing on the other? You could do like an etching on the back if really? you wanted to be creative and okay. uh, artistic. I would, I would personally put three songs on one side, three songs on the other with six songs. Um, but now let me think. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was thinking about um, Counting Crows, Butter mm, Miracle Sweet. Oh, Mine. yes, yes, okay. It's four songs, but then the, the version they did of August and Everything After, the song, um, is, is the B-side. And it's like a 10-minute long song. Wait a minute, where's that? What do you mean? Is that on the... Oh, yeah, on the... Oh, yeah. okay. Well, we're going to ignore it's, that for now because I didn't yeah, know about this. It's the four new songs. <laughs> I knew those. And then on the B side of that oh, full al full length shit. 12 inch album okay. is the song August and Everything After. All right, we're going to skip past because that's yeah. blew my mind right there. I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. That's worth buying <laughs> like I did. <laughs> but anyway, we're not talking about Counting okay. Crows, even though we are. We're here to talk about the brand new EP, The Valley of Vision from Manchester, Manchester Orchestra. <laughs> now, you know. I am fan. a massive, You're a big fan. massive fan of this band, mm -hmm. and quite frankly, anything that lead singer Andy Hull touches. You are um, the side project Bad Books with Kevin Devine. I Devine. love Bad Books, by the way. Bad Books is great. They are. Um, my dogs. The see, dogs. The dogs love even love Bad Books. books. <laughs> just, as soon as I said Bad Books, they started. Eh. They're like, wait a minute, Andy Hall? Yeah, yeah. 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 They know him. Um, the bearded great one. <laughs> um, <laughs> But seriously, anything that he is involved of as like kind of the creative force, I'm in. Um, so I'm gonna do the same thing I do with you. Well, no, you know what? what? Uh, let's let's roll. How we want to do? This? Let me because... do this for you. Okay. So a friend of ours, Chad Hampton. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna throw out a uh, shout. How out. you doing, everybody? Yeah. But uh, he sent us a video. I didn't know this video existed. Did okay. You, do you know about this? I knew it was going to be kind of a film that goes with the this. songs. Okay. But I'm going to tell you right now, because we were reviewing this, the music, I have yet to watch the video. Oh, I did. On purpose. I did. Because I didn't want... Sometimes when I watch visuals that are very stunning or cool, okay. it makes me elevate the music. Yeah. Um, and I didn't want to do that, so I've it only would've. listened to the. You know, I've only listened to the okay. audio. I look forward to okay. listening to the video, but I waited on purpose. You're smart, but I'm glad you brought that. You're up. smart because I kind of went video first, then music. Um, Tell me about that. Ah, man. I first I want to start with the fact that Manchester Orchestra to me has changed a lot. Yes. Am I correct in that? Yes. What was the name of the album you introduced me to? Again, like Keith introduced me to a lot of music. And this is one of the albums you introduced me to. The, their second album is called Mean Everything yes, to Nothing. That was the which one you got me into. Flawless masterpiece. This is one he introduced me to, and this had to be back, what year was that? Probably 15 years ago? It was It was a while ago. Well, it might have been long. It's, it's been a while. It's been a while, yeah. It's been a while. But he introduced me to that, and I thought, man, what a hell of an album. I mean, musically, vocally, wow. the emotion behind it, Ugh. and his vocals. Oh, The guitars. Oh. I I still enjoy Andy Hall now, but I kind of lean towards the bad book stuff now, musically. Okay. This is be this this stuff is more. It's very pretty. I don't know how to explain it. It's, yeah, that's it's, exactly what I was gonna say. To it's me, beautiful. this feels like it should just be called Andy Hall. Okay. And the, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know how much of the band's involved behind what's being written and what's being played. That's a good thought. Yeah. But vocally he's still fantastic Ugh. lyrically he's amazing which is why i think the direction they went in is this yeah it's because he can write a very telling and personal and pull your man. guts out type man, lyrics can man can he so i'm not upset with the band i think if that's how you are and that's how you can pull it out maybe that's the direction you should be going to begin with and when they put that video out with it, it's stunning. I mean, the visuals along with the music, it's art. I mean, that's art. Yeah. That's when you talk about art. I mean, this is this album's <laughs> artistic. It's six songs of beautiful art. Yeah. Well put. Um, and, and that's yeah. why, you know, that's why I didn't watch the video. Okay. Because I knew it would, it, it would change how I viewed it. Um, and I just wanted to focus on the music. Okay. That's smart, actually. Very excited to watch it and anxious to watch it. I had to yeah. stop myself from watching the video. Yeah. Because I was like, wait a minute. I'm reviewing <laughs> this, so I don't want to yeah. uh, taint my brain. Yeah. But um, now I've been thinking about this a lot because this is one of my favorite bands that's going right now. Yeah. Uh, without hesitation, I say that. 
you're right to say their sound has changed from the beginning. Okay. Uh, it's changed a lot. Do you prefer where they're going or where they were? See, that's the thing. It's strugg it's I struggle with this. Okay. I listen to this new EP several times. To get new music from Manchester Orchestra yeah. is always a big deal for me. Yeah. And I listened to it, and I was blown away by the, like you said, it's pretty. The, it's, the sheer beauty. It's beautiful, yeah. The sheer beauty of this music mm -hmm. is stunning. It is. Um, and part of me is like, man, I wish they'd turn those guitar amps up. Yes. And give me another, like, just... Uh, but you know what? Honestly, I don't. Like, I, I, I'm happy with what I'm hearing. Like, it's beautiful. It's ethereal. His lyrics are great. His yeah. vocals are great. I just wish it was called Andy Hall. Like, okay. I, it, to me, this isn't. It doesn't have that Manchester Orchestra sound that I'm used to. But I'm not upset about it. This is a very beautiful six-song EP. It is, and I think part of the reason you're saying what you're saying. Correct mm -hmm. me if I'm wrong. Is mm -hmm. and this is one of the notes that I wrote down for this review. Uh, haven't done notes for a review in a while, <laughs> but I had a lot to think think about. Okay. I didn't miss anything. Uh, Andy Hall, his voice on this Unique. EP is... Uh, it's the best I've heard it. The best I've ever heard yeah. it. And it's always been fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, and part of it is how this album has, was mixed and produced, too. Because his voice, for the most part, on this EP is right here. Yeah. It's right here. Unapologetically. That's it's that's the thing. It's just... And he, you feel like he's talking to you. Yeah. Singing to you. And it's brilliant. Um... I think, like you said, lyrically, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I struggle with the, you know, going back to the early sound, but I already have those albums. So, Agreed. you Agreed. know, I get it. But I will say there is a big part of me that, and it's not now, it shouldn't be now, because what they just <laughs> did right now with this EP is exactly yep. what, it was just the right moment and it's perfect. Um, down the road. I would love to see this band do almost like their physical graffiti, where oh. it's like a double album of just guitar driven, you know, but physical graffiti also has like yeah. those those quieter moments, but just yeah, there's so much going on in their past few albums with the synthesizers, yeah, and the modern production and even like a little bit of electronic music mm -hmm. in there. Which they do extremely well, and it works, again, because Andy Hall is he's at the involved. driver's yep. seat. If he's at the driver's seat, I'm in. Yep. And it works, and I love it. He's incapable of yep. putting out bad music. This man is incapable of putting out That's bad music. That's, That's why true. I said it twice. Um, so, but I still struggle with, the, you know, uh, the old stuff, the guitars, you know, the, you know. Um, but this is where they are now. And like I said, I'm in. But is this where they are now? See, that's what I always struggle yeah. with as a band. Is this where they are or is this where he... Because to me... Well, where he is, they are. <laughs> but... He is... I don't want to say he is Manchester Orchestra to, because that's to the thing. diminish is... the other guys in the band. Yeah. I don't mean to do that. But, you know, uh, Chris Freeman, who was the original keyboard player, um, he left albums ago. Okay. And, you know, they're they're not the same anymore. Not to say that they're... Yeah, that they're bad, obviously, and we're praising them. Um, and not to say they, they're just different. They're very, different. Now. Very different, yeah. Um, but you know, they didn't they didn't try to continue to be Manchester Orchestra with Chris Freeman without Chris Freeman. They adapted and evolved with who's in the band now. Um I think but you're right. It's it's a matter of the guitar. Sometimes you want to hear it punched up because man, they they rock. When they rock, they rock. Well, and there's I think it's the fourth song on this EP where uh it starts with more of like an acoustic guitar yeah. that that peeks through over like a lot yeah. of the synth stuff, and I was like, oh, like it, you're it, ready for it. It drew me yeah. in because I was like, here it comes guitars, you know. Not just I mean, there's obviously guitars yeah. all over this thing too, um, but it's it's there's some synth heavy stuff, mm -hmm. there's some electronic sounding stuff, which gives their sound a very accessible modern yeah. feel. It is modern, yeah. And you know, modern isn't a four letter word, and neither is pop. Um, no. but it has to be, for me, modern music has to be done just right because a lot of modern music, well, it's not even talking about top 40 music. I mean, that's, that's utter trash. And this isn't but that at all. It's not like that I said, at this all. is art, which is another non four letter word. This is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, there you go. This is beautiful. Yeah. To and me, it's beautiful is not a four letter word either. No, <laughs> this is just not, I mean, it's just an orchestra sound to me. Like, yeah. If someone said to me, hey, you ready for a new Manchester orchestra album? And the last thing I heard was, what was that one you said? Me. Oh, mean everything to yeah. nothing. Yeah, and I put this in. I wouldn't even think it's the same band. Yeah, I would not Except even the voice. Yeah. yeah, I mean, but his. But I'm not mad about it. I just. No, yeah. I just don't know if it should be called the same thing. <laughs> it doesn't sound the same, but 
Well, he's, and he's done uh, right away. Great Captain. You know that yep. stuff he's done. That's more like solo acoustic, yep. I guess. Um, but again, Andy Hall. Well, well, I mean, he is appreciated. Um, not necessarily a household name for be. like you know your average schmuck. <laughs> um, yeah. But you know, music lovers, a lot of them know him. If you're a subscriber to our channel and you like, I feel like I've heard the name of that band, but I don't really know anything. Like, this is one of those mm. guys where it's like he's special. He's yeah. very, very, very special. Yeah. Um, and yeah, sometimes I actually do get emotional talking about their <laughs> music because, like you said, I mean, how beautiful is this EP? This, this, I'll tell you, this is so beautiful. I would put this, if you're just going to put it as a Manchester Orchestra album, yeah. this has to be in their top two or three. Wow. To me. Even if as an EP, I think this is a a monumental move for him. This, to me, is a, it is. It's I a mean, peak performance I, on I, his part. Yeah. I mean, lyrically, vocally, I mean, this was a very... <sighs> Deep man, deep album. Yeah. Now I only pick because it's only six songs. Yeah. I only pick two of my favorite instead of three because it's picking half mm -hmm. the album essentially. But for me, um, I picked Capital Karma, the lead uh, track, and mm -hmm. I think that was the first one they released. Um, and dude, that song "Lose You Again." <sighs> I didn't pick any because okay. for yeah, me, yeah, it's all. It feels like one long song. It does. It, it does. To me, this is they broke it in the tracks. But once you watch the actual art thing, I think you'll see it even more. Yeah. This thing just flows. It's one long piece of art. Well, and I noticed uh, some of, without yeah. watching the video yet, I noticed some yeah. of them kind of bled into each other. They do. Which I like. I mean, that's that's like a concept, you know. It's it like is. A, to me, this uh, is a this is a one long six song EP concept album. And speaking of the EP versus album, I will say, um, if there's a band I really, really, really love, mm -hmm. and I hear they're putting out an EP, I'm usually like, oh, like yeah. give me a whole album. But I always say, you know, even if it's four songs, if the four songs are fantastic, then yeah. okay, great, thank you. Um, but this is, you know, and it's six songs, it's not four. Um, and this, I don't even think about, because like you said, this is a piece of art. Yeah. I don't even think about tracks anymore no, now that I've a... heard this, because it's just absolutely it just flows. fantastic. Um, I was very interested to hear your take on this EP going into this review, because I know that, you know, you know the earlier stuff with the mm -hmm. guitars and yeah. the you know, some quasi Zeppelin moments and stuff on their albums, the early stuff. I wasn't sure mm -hmm. where you were going to fall with this, to be honest, because there's some of I that mean, modern no, I, stuff. I, yeah. I, I love the old stuff, yeah. but I love this too. Yeah. yeah well, I mean, this is, to me, it just doesn't feel like the same band, the same name, the same moniker, but it's beautiful. I mean, it's it's just as good. I mean, yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah. Andy Hall, I mean, really, he should just, <laughs> anything he does should just be packaged as Andy Hall, because... He's fantastic with everything he's done. Yeah. Bad books, Manchester Orchestra, like you said. Right the, away, great captain. Oh my yeah. gosh. He does he can't write a bad thing. He can't make a bad No, he can't. He's incapable. No. So Um I wish I had that in my <laughs> <laughs> Um But yeah, I, folks, uh it's it's hard to say because if you've never even heard of this band mm. and you start with this and then you go back to mean everything and nothing like you said, it'll be it like, don't sound this the same. two different things. No. But they're equally mind blowing. I will oh, say in their that. own ways, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I and even their yeah their first uh, their first full length album uh, it's called I'm Like a Virgin Losing a Child. Yeah. That is pff, unbelievable too. Simple Math is great. Oh, I mean, it's all good. I mean, if everything. You, if you don't know everything. Yeah. this band, just put an Andy Hall. Just make a day. Yeah. They're just just not just Manchester, but solo stuff, bad books. Like just look it all up. Just. You know, really soak him in because he does a lot of great work. It sounds to me like what you're saying is uh, these folks, if they're not familiar, should Check it all out. take a holiday. <laughs> yeah, use some PTO. Yeah. Put yeah. some time off. <laughs> take or, a holiday. You know, or, or do it on a day you already have yeah. off if you want to go on vacation. You, you can use your PTO however you want. <laughs> What's this guy? What's this guy uh, telling me how to use your PTO? Yep. It's getting a little too personal, buddy. Sorry. Nah, I'm just messing with you. Sorry. So, what do you have to say? I'm really curious to hear in the comments from the Manchester Orchestra fans. Yes. Because this is different. It's different. And are you on? The, are you along for the ride? Are you on the Andy Hall train uh, no matter what happens? Or are you like, eh, what's, what's going on with these guys? I think you should be. I think you should be on the yeah. train too. But yeah. that's, that's why we all have different yep. ears, different opinions. So, um, please tell us what you think of Valley of Vision, the new EP from Manchester Orchestra. What will they mm -hmm. do next? We will be there and we will review it for sure. Yep, absolutely. So for Brad, as I always say, this is Keith <laughs> and this is the KMB Music Den. Please share this video on social media. Subscribe to the channel. Like this video and smash the that Listen bell. Listen to Andy Hall, then smash the bell. Yeah, like he said. <laughs> we'll see you guys soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.